Hello guys, today we'll talk about the SDFS write operation. Let's see how it works. So we have the SDFS architecture, we have the name node and we have the data node. So once a client initiates the write operation, so the write operation create will be called and it will go to distributed file system. And distributed file system will send this message to name node. So name node where we have all the metadata information. So once a name node will look that request, first it will see whether the client have the write permission or read permission. These permissions they will check. If client don't have the write permission, it will simply reject. If client have the write permission, it will allow to go for the write. But it will do some other validation same time if you see it will give client IPs machines where the data we have to write what are the available data nodes and it will also give the security token to the client so all these validation name node will perform and then it will give information to client once all these scenario validated successfully then client will initiate a connection with FS data output stream so this output stream it will talk to the data node and it will create a data queue so data queue will have packets which needs to be written into data node so we are talking here the happy scenario where we don't have any kind of failure in the data node so what will happen once the first data node that packet will be written based on the block size then it will create a pipeline with the another data node so let's say number four it will create a pipeline with the another data node and then write operation will perform on the data node so in this example we have taken the three replication so three places we are going to write the file so if you see number four then again it creates a data node creates a pipe with the another data node and it will perform a write operation based on the replica three and once this write uh, happens successfully then we'll have the acknowledgement and then what will happen then it acknowledgement queue will have the acknowledgement it will send that to fs data output stream so once the data comes to fs data output stream the acknowledgement then it will communicate a close operation then because output stream don't have to do any write operation it will close the operation and finally it will inform to the name node name node will have all the required information and then operation will get a complete so this is a happy scenario for a write operation let's think this way let's say for example during the write there is some uh, data node failure happens then what is the situation how it will deal in that so let's go to in this where we are saying that there is a data node which are which are getting failed during once we are starting a writing so how it will happen so initial step will be the similar client will talk to distributed file system it will communicate to the name node name node will do all kind of validation check and if everything goes well it will permit and then fs data output stream will come in picture fs data output stream will send packets and data queue to the data node then data node one will create a dedicated path with the data node to in the red uh, data node it is uh, during the write it get failed okay once it get failed what will happen it, it will immediately send uh, information to aq okay this is the packet which is partially loaded or it is not able to write then that information will pass to the output stream output stream will make sure that communication goes to the name node okay i need another another data node uh, or uh, this is the failure happened it will inform to the name node information to name node for change node and then what will happen it will send this packet back to the data queue and data queue will it will go to the data node and data node uh, where the data got written it will communicate to the third data node in this case and uh, once we see in this diagram right so it is creating a pipe here it is creating the data node and then it will uh, create the another third copy into another data node and this way this operation will get complete once operation get complete same kind of uh, previous what we discussed information will go to output stream and then output stream will close operation it, it will close successfully and then final 
if you see the close and then it will final it will send the complete information to name node name node will have all these information uh, and once this data node comes online let's say future this data node comes online or heartbeat comes this heartbeat will be informed to the name node and name node what it will do it will clean the required information from the data node and from his metadata so this way failure will be handled on the sbfs data node if some failure happens in data node it is going to handle so one, one more scenario we'll talk here so let's say in the beginning very beginning a name node is saying that sdfs don't have the kind of uh, right permission so in beginning it will not initiate any connection in the very beginning it will it will deny the permission if you see here it will deny the permission then you you will not have any kind of right op operation so th this is complete video on the right how the sdfs right works i hope this will give the clarity thank you very much